welcome to today's lesson my name is teacher nick shout your name yes can i hear you can i hear you welcome and welcome i'm so glad for you guys to join us how are you doing are you okay have you opened school are you still at home are you learning yes i hope that you're going to continue to learn with me today let us pray father Thank you so much for bringing us here today. May you open our minds to receive the word that you have for us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Now it's time to dance. Get off your seats and join me in dancing. Come along. Hello, how are you? My name is Teacher Nick. Welcome to today's lesson. I hope you are all well, healthy, and ready to praise the Lord. Welcome to our service. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for all the kids who are listening to this and all the kids in the world. We know that you love them. 
we know that you care for them. May you continue working with them in everything. And as we learn, may you open their hearts to listen to the word that you, that you have prepared for them today. It is in Jesus' name that I pray and believe. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Our lesson is going to be very, very interesting. And I hope that you are excited as I am. Now, on the first Sunday of 2022, can you imagine we are in 2022? Happy New Year. On our first Sunday of 2022, we learned about unlimited chances. And what we learned there was that, you know, God is very gracious and merciful and we can always go back to him and he will forgive us. When you do something wrong, go back to God in prayer and confess your sin and he will forgive you because he's merciful and gracious. Then last week, then last week, we learned about on with the new. Now that you've been sanctified, sanctified means you've been made anew and you're being made anew. Now that you are now holy and righteous, you should put away your old self. When you used to be a noisemaker in class, now you're going to be very attentive. If you used to steal, you stop that behavior. You put away your old self and put on your new self. Now, today we are going to learn about something called New Start. You know, we are in a new year and uh, some of us have plans, you know, some of us have new opportunities. Maybe you are moving into a new term and some of you are moving into the next class. You know, it's a new start for many, many people. Now, there was someone in the Bible who also had a start. Can you imagine? Guess, guess who this person is? Yeah, this person was Jesus. Imagine Jesus also had a start for something. And you are going to learn about it today. Now, our lesson comes from the book of Mark. Say Mark. Yes, our lesson comes from the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 9 to 11 and also from the book of Matthew, say Matthew, Matthew chapter 3 verse 13 to 17, and also from the book of Luke, say Luke, yes, from the book of Luke chapter 3 verse 21 to 22. Now we are going to read, I hope you have your Bibles ready. I'm going to read first from the book of Mark chapter 1 from verse 9 to 11. I give you time to open. Yes? Yes? Now you are there, I hope. Okay. It says, At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Just as Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. At once the Spirit sent him out into the wilderness. And he was in the wilderness for 40 days being tempted by Satan. He was with the wild animals and angels attended to him. Our next scripture comes from the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 3, verse 13 to 17. If you're looking for the book of Matthew, it's the first one in the New Testament. It says, Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you. And you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. Consented means John accepted. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. 
at that moment heaven opened and he saw the spirit of god descending like a dove and alighting on him and a voice from heaven said this is my son whom i love with him i am well pleased that is so amazing imagine god saying that about you and if you are a child of god that is what god says about you every single time that you are his son and with you he is well pleased now this was the beginning of the ministry of jesus this event this baptism event marked the beginning of the ministry of jesus here on earth up until this moment he had not performed any miracles but now he had the stamp of approval from god do you remember when god said this is my son yes he had the stamp of approval and he was also filled with the spirit of god and now he was able to perform miracles and many people came to know that he was the son of god our baptism represents a new beginning for us as well when we are baptized it shows the world that just as jesus rose from the dead through the glory and the power of god the father we also have a new life in him we are raised with jesus when we are baptized and you see with baptism there are very many ways that people do it some people get sprinkled on water some people get poured on water some people get immersed in water do it with me immersed in water and then they are raised up again and that is why it is very important it marks a new beginning in our lives just as it marked a new beginning in Jesus life now i have a few questions for you guys are you ready why are you listening let us test that the first question who baptized jesus who baptized jesus did you say john the baptist james yes those who said john the baptist have the answer correct then the next question is on which location on which location did jesus baptism take place on which location did jesus baptism take place was it river nile was it lake victoria or was it river jordan the ones who said river jordan have it right clap for yourselves and that is the end of our lesson and now it's time for our memory verse hey friends today's memory verse comes from the book of luke chapter 3 verse 21 and it says when all the people were being baptized jesus was baptized too and as he was praying heaven was opened let's say it together luke chapter 3 verse 21 it says when all the people were being baptized jesus was baptized too and as he was praying heaven was opened wow thank you teacher nick for that amazing amazing lesson for the day and right now we are going to just learn something about one of our uh, valued behaviors as a church which is aliveness in the spirit and basically this is uh, just us allowing the holy spirit uh, to just come and infuse us so that we may be able to allow christ uh, uh, to come and just fill us with uh, his love his joy so that we may be able even as children to go out and be a service to the rest of our children in schools at home even can help our parents just be alive in in Christ be alive everywhere we go also awesome. 
Thank you, teacher Sesmo, for that amazing, amazing lesson that we should be alive in the spirit. Now, do you want to be alive in the spirit? I want to be alive in the spirit. If you want to be alive in the spirit, like me, like your mom, like your dad, like the congregation in the church, there are certain steps that you need to take. And the first one is giving your life to Christ. Now, if you give your life to Christ, there is a prayer that we say. Join me in this prayer. Father, I believe that you are the creator of heaven and earth. I also believe that Jesus Christ is your son. I pray that today you will forgive me all my sins. And onwards, I'll walk with you every single day of my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. And it is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Congratulations if you've made that prayer. From now on you have a new start. You have a new start. Now it's time for money for Jesus. And the details will be on the screen. It's also time to say goodbye. Yes, I know. But it's time to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I hope you have an amazing, amazing week full of new starts and I hope that you'll take all the opportunities that God will bring your way. Let's pray. God, thank you for that lesson. May it have an impact in our lives. Open our eyes to recognize all the opportunities for a new start that will come our way. And it is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Bye. Bye.